This is just sad, man. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. So people have been asking me to make a video about this to, to speak on the demise and the sad state of affairs in some of these inner cities across the country. I mean, I, I, I am at a loss for words as to how I feel about young kids getting mowed down in the streets by thugs, gangbangers, and unnecessary violence. And, and this, the, the one that touched me the most is the Sicarius situation. The young girl who was in the backseat of her mom's car in Georgia, going close to where Rayshard Brooks was, was killed at. Um, they got off the on-ramp. There was a barricade put up by BLM protesters. And as they were turning around to leave, shots started being fired. Um, initially, I thought, and I think a lot of people were reporting, that they shot directly at her car. But that wasn't necessarily the case. I think it was a shootout between two individuals. Multiple shots hit her car. And the young girl, Sicaria, got shot in the process uh, she literally told her mom, mom, I'm hit. She died in her mom's arms. I mean, it, it, it breaks my heart to think about that because I have a child and I could not imagine. I could not begin to imagine the feeling that I would have if some senseless nuts decide they're going to shoot each other, two black people shooting each other and end up resulting in the death of my child. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to deal, man. I wouldn't be able to deal with that. And so my prayers go out to their, to her family. And, and she's not the only one. Even that day, she wasn't the only one that lost her life. There were several other people that died and multiple people were shot. But the reason why I'm making this video primarily because I want us as a, as a community to support uh, her mother because that is a tough loss. Not only is it going to be difficult burying your own child, but to even proceed after that. And so there's a GoFundMe for her family. We've communicated with her family. I'll put the link in the description section. So if you find it on your heart to support them, go to the description section, link in the GoFundMe um, and donate. Let me say this because I'm trying not to get emotional when I talk about this. And I'm going to talk about the other young people who have lost their lives to gun violence in the inner city. But let's, let's talk about this for a minute. They raised tens of millions of dollars for George Floyd in a matter of weeks. Last time I checked Sicaria's GoFundMe, it was at, I don't know, maybe $1,000. A young girl loses her life. They only get two, $3,000. This grown man who made poor decisions on his part that led him in the position to be in the interaction with this police officer. And he gets millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. What about Sicaria's family? What about her mom and dad? There was an innocent little girl. And, and where, where is Black Lives Matter? Where, is all, where are y'all at? Can't even get no real money raised for the girl. It just breaks my heart, man. It's, it makes me so frustrated, man. And they're not the only, that's not the only situation that has happened. There, in, in, in a span of, a, I think, two weekends, we had nine kids whose lives were taken just randomly. Do, fools doing drive-bys at barbecues. Come on, man. And what does what the same politicians say? We got to do better. We got to do better. We got to do better. Y'all been saying this for decades. What are you actually going to do? Clearly, gun legislation don't work. Chicago is strictest gun laws in the country, and they have the most gun violence. What are you going to really do? Now, I'll tell you what you should be doing. It should be changing the narrative. You should be, you should be holding people accountable. You should take your behind in the community and talk to the people that you work for and say enough is enough. This no snitching stuff is over. We, we need to focus on us. Stop worrying about them doggone police. We don't need to be defunct. This is what the leaders should be saying in that city. 
We don't need to be worried about defunding the police. We should be defunding the criminal element in our own communities first. They the one out here hurting our babies, not the police. It, it, it irks me. Two weekends. More kids have been killed in the inner city in just two weekends than the last two years of police involved shootings that have killed adult men who a majority of them are committing crimes. You're talking about in two weekends, we have more children die at the hands of thugs than we have adults who are behaving improperly, who are unarmed and killed by police in two years. Two years. What's that, 104 weeks? 104 weeks is two weeks. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all, I, I don't know what to say anymore. It is getting to a level of sheer embarrassment. And people always tell me, Brandon, you need to go out there to Chicago. I don't live there. All I can do is facilitate things like Blexit and other things where we can put people that live there on the streets, getting them involved in the community. I can go once or twice, but I don't live in Chicago. That's not my responsibility. My responsibility is to make videos like this to wake people up, to get them thinking. Because to be honest, the fastest way to change this is not going to be through law enforcement. It's not going to be through some uh, program that they set up and facility that they pay for. It's going to be a cultural rethinking. It's going to be personal responsibility. That's what's going to change these things. You got people out here doing it to these kids and they, they ain't nobody even snitching. They know who did it. They know who killed these kids. They ain't nobody snitching. It's going to have to be personal responsibility. Now, before anybody get on the bandwagon and say, oh, no, 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 it's unique to the black community. I, I Name a white Chicago anywhere. Name, name a white community that have the, the, as many shootings as Chicago. There's nowhere close. Nowhere close. I was a police officer. I patrolled the trailer parks. The gang violence and gun violence is nowhere near what it is in the black community. Now, they have their own issues, but the gang violence is unique. To the black community, black and Hispanic community. In the case of Chicago, it's majority black. There, na name name a, a rash of violence in the white community that has led to the death of so many kids. And all, and all y'all want to talk about, oh, the school thing, when the kids go into school, y'all know what I'm talking about. There's more kids losing their life on the streets in Chicago alone than any school situation that has happened. But they, nobody want to talk about it. Nobody want to be honest about it. We got to start being honest, ladies and gentlemen. We got to start calling it for what it is. We got to start putting our money where our mouth at. And we need to donate and help out Sakaria and her family. Now, Tyler Perry said he was going to pay for, the, for some of the burial. But I mean, she still need a headstone. She still need all of these things. Their car is totaled. Their car is totaled. It's shot up. They took a car for evidence. Her mama don't have a phone because they had to take her phone for evidence. She needs a phone. She needs a car. At least something to get her started. You know, we knew somebody in the, in the area or knew somebody that knew somebody there. We all communicated and, and they may be able to get her a vehicle um, from, a, from a local car dealership. But she's going to need some help, man. And we can help George Floyd out, Rashad Brooks. We can help all these grown tail men out here committing crimes and, and resisting arrest. But we can't help the children. We can't help the little kids. And that's crazy. And if I, if I find more GoFundMe's for these kids that are verified, I verified her, hers. Find some that are verified. And I know the story behind it. I'll, I'll just continue to link it as time go on to this video. Ho hopefully this video will be played in perpetuity. And I'll link it because we need to start doing something what we can. The leaders in Chicago and in Baltimore and in Atlanta, they, the one, they are the ones that need to be boots on the ground doing something. Now, we can do what we are capable of doing from our end. But everybody in America can't just go to Atlanta. The people who run Atlanta should be worried about Atlanta. People who, who are politicians, the churches, where y'all at? I don't even hear church leaders talking about this. It should be publicized. It should be all over social media. All of the NFL players, NBA players, all these corny, cowardice people who are running their mouth on a day-to-day -day basis about oppression, y'all should be down there because y'all are millionaires. 
And y'all the main ones running your mouth. Some of y'all live in Chicago. Where's Chicago Bears at? Where the Chicago Bears football team at? That should be front page news. They should be all over it. Instead of taking a knee during the game, take your out there and take a knee in Chicago. Where you live. I can go in on this all day, man. But I really want y'all to support the young lady. It's a very sad situation. All these young people that lost their lives. They ain't never going to get a t-shirt. They ain't never going to be on nobody's uniform. Black Lives Matter ain't never going to raise $100 million for a funeral. They ain't going to get three funerals televised. When we first heard about this, reached out to, to Sakari's mom on them, and nobody had reached out to him. Nobody had helped him at all. Then finally, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry did it. But you know, Tyler Perry had to do that because he, he paid for a criminal's funeral. Richard Brooks was a thug that beat his wife and kids and was on probation, should have been in prison. They let him out due to COVID-19, and he, he gets a DUI and assaults police officers. And Tyler Perry pays for his funeral. Yeah, you, you better pay for this young girl funeral. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up, y'all. I'm fed up. I'm sick of it. This stuff is common sense. I grew up in the hood. This is common sense. We need to focus on our own community. Focus on your own schools. Focus on residency in your own community. Stop selling them drugs on the street. Stop that game banging, pull your dog on pants up, and act like you got some sense. That's how you're going to change this stuff. And everybody in the hood know it. But we steady sitting up here being fake, pointing at the police and the white man. When I was growing up, man, I ain't never thought about no white people. I was worried about other thugs in the hood. That you get caught on a uh, uh, little John and you got the wrong colors on. You may get jumped, you may get killed. I mean, nobody know. Somebody may run up on you do a drive-by. You get caught somewhere with the wrong colors on. You disrespect somebody on accident. You get gunned down, bro. There ain't no apologies. There ain't no I'm sorry. It's real out in the streets, man. And, and everybody that have ever experienced the hood at any point in their life, they know this. Why y'all lying, man? Why y'all being fake? Y'all just being fake. Tell the truth. We know we got internal issues. Now, if we would prioritize them, maybe I wouldn't have to make a video about it. But y'all should be ashamed of yourself talking about these white people and talking about police officers. When you know the dope boys in the community, you know who the shooters in the community. You know who the killers are. They brag about it. You know who got racks and racks driving Rolls Royce, got gold chains on their neck in the hood. Y'all know you ain't holding your kids accountable when they go to school. You know you ain't going to the PTA meetings. Quit lying to yourself. I'm done, man. I'm done. Because I'm going to get mad on this video. But these things need to be said. And I'm sick of people being fake. I'm sick of it. I don't hear nothing about President Trump. Oh, Trump, he's so racist, the white man, oppression, the KKK. Shut up. Shut up. You ain't worried about no KKK. I ain't never seen no KKK member. But I ain't seen some goons before. I didn't been around goons before. I ain't never been around no KKK member. Y'all, y'all so fake is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. It's got to stop, man. These kids, this will be the number one priority of Black Lives Matter. They should focus on these kids. Focus on the community. Put that police stuff aside. Focus on the community. Get back to that later. If they really care, but they don't give a flying flip and you and I know it. They don't care. They never did. They never will. This is about politics for Black Lives Matter. This is about political correctness. This is about getting Democrats into office. This is about chaos and confusion. This melanin the patriarchy. This melanin capitalism. They have a mission. Then they don't give a flying flip about black people. They don't care. Because when they die in the streets, in the hood, they don't give a flip. And I'm sick of it. Going around here protesting and being stupid. Y'all didn't kill more black people than the doggone police. You sorry son of a guns. I'm sick of it.
Out here looking stupid. Ain't got no mission, no purpose. Just stupid. You got black people looking stupid out here. And instead of you looking at these Antifa and saying, look, y'all better get away from us. Y'all just messing with them. Going in people's churches. Uh, black Lives Matter on the, on the sidewalk. Go put that on the hood in Chicago. Go put Black Lives Matter on the ground over there in, uh, in Chicago, Illinois on the south side. Huh? Oh, you ain't going to do that. Y'all not going to put that over there. You ain't going to put it in the black. The black people need to know that black lives matter. First, before you point at the white man, black people need to appreciate other black people. Now, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm furious. I'm furious, man. This is hit home. This hit to my heart, man. Because I didn't grow. I, I grew up around this stuff. Everybody know what it is, but ain't nobody want to keep it real. That's why we can't change nothing. Steady point at everybody else. You know what it is. And you say it, and then you'll coon, you'll sell out Uncle Tom. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm going to tell you the doggone truth. God put the truth in my heart, and I'm going to put the truth. I'm going to get the truth to you. That's all I know how to do. I ain't kissing your butt. I'm not playing no games. I'm telling the truth. Anyway, man, y'all write a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Visit, visit the Outstanding Store. The links are there. Donate to that young girl. Y'all know what it is. See you on the next one. I'm out.